Yo guys, what's up? It's Jughead, and today I have a Wi-Fi battle with Chris, and looking at his team, well, looking at both of our teams, we have some similar Pokemon. We have Venusaur, we have uh, Rotom, and we have a Ditto, so I guess that's going to be pretty cool. Um, looking at his team, the Pokemon I'm most scared of would be, would be that Ditto and that Talonflame. Because Talonflame could just destroy my Venusaur, my Volcarona, and my Excadrill, and my Klefki. So those, those are pretty scared of. I mean, I can handle his Mega Venusaur with my Volcarona with a Hurricane. And his God Chomp. I'm not too scared of it. So yeah. Alright, let's do this. Oh yeah. Fuck. Yo guys, what's up? It's Jughead, and today I have a Wi-Fi battle with Chris. And looking at both of our teams, we have some similar Pokemon. We have Rotom, we have a Ditto, and we have a Venusaur, so that's going to be pretty cool. Um, yo guys, what's up? It's Jughead, and today I have a Wi-Fi battle with Chris. And looking at both of our teams, we both have similar Pokemon. We have Rotom, a Ditto, and a Venusaur, so that's going to be pretty cool. I'm um, looking at his team. The Pokemon I'm most scared of would probably be that Talonflame, seeing as it could just destroy uh, four of my Pokemon: um, Clefki, Excadrill, Volcarona, and Venusaur. So it's gonna suck. So I'm gonna have to get rid of that pretty quick. All right. So I'm gonna decide to start with the Rotom, just so I can Volt Switch if I don't like the odds, and I can take down that Gliscor if he does decide to lead with it, or that um, Garchomp. Just burn it. So yeah. Alright, let's get to it. So Chris is issuing a challenge with this panda hat. for pretty cool. Yeah, it's got shades on it as well. So I'm going to start off with my Rotom. And he's going to start off with his Rotom. So I'm faster than him and I'm able to get off my Will-O-Wisp. Well, I win the speed time. I get off my Will-O-Wisp. And he's going to confuse me and that's not... That's no bueno. No bueno. So the burn damage, and I'm actually running Life Orb Rotom in this. I don't know why, but yeah. Oh, you'll see the power of it in a bit. <laughs> so I'm going to switch onto my Green Giant just so I can che uh, check this Rotom, and I can just Giga Drain it and recover back my HP, because he's going to burn me. I'm okay with that. He's going to recover leftovers. He's going to get burned. I'm okay with that. I'm going to get burned, and I'm okay with that, I guess. Now I'm going to go for a Giga Drain, uh, but I should have expected this Volt Switch. I should have went for a Leech Seed. So he's going to go back. And he's going to go to his V. Oh no, I did. I expect Yeah, I expected that. So I did go for Leech Seed, but he, out he outplayed me. That kind of sucked. So I can't do anything. I'm going to have to switch out, because I'm pretty sure this would have Sludge Bump if he, go if he went into it, because why would he go into it? Why would you go into it? I don't even know why I didn't Mega Evolve. What am I thinking? So now he's gonna Mega Evolve. And then he's gonna Sludge Bomb me. That's not gonna do that much to me. Big, um, Volcarone is actually a pretty bulky Pokemon. I mean, especially defensive wise. So he's gonna go into his Town Flame. I predicted that. So I went for a Hurricane that's gonna easily take care of this guy and confuse him. The confuse hacks. So, Volcarona did, did do good, so I'm gonna switch him out and go back into my road time just in case Talonflame manages to break confusion and just destroy me. But nope, he hits himself in confusion, so I'm okay with that. Uh, second time around, I think he hits this one, yeah, he's gonna hit an acrobatics and that's not gonna be good. Oh, <laughs> my mistake, I do, I do take it. Alright, so I'm gonna Volt Switch out of here, so see ya. Just destroy the Talonflame. And um, and that's pretty much the biggest threat to my team, like, looking at the team preview. So I'm like, I'm feeling good. I got rid of the biggest threat on his team. So I'm going to, I make a misplay and go for Jelly, my ditto. Um, because he didn't, he didn't even have a Pokemon. Oh my god. So. Oh, the misplays, the misplays. So I'm going to switch out because I fear the Earthquake, and at least he went for the Earthquake. At least. So it... That turn would have been pretty much the same if Glyscore 
pr used protect and got that toxic orb off, so I'm alright with that now. He's gonna go into his, go his rogue tom and I hydro pump. I uh, didn't care who it was gonna be. And oh my god, the power! The power! It did. It, it did a clean like 10, 15 percent, 15, 20. Uh, so yeah, he's gonna get leftovers. That that burn's just gonna nullify it. So I'm gonna volt switch out of here. Either I'm faster than him or I just win the speed tie all the time. But yeah, that volt switch. That volt switch power. Now that I'm left, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go switch out into my cleft key. For some reason, I don't know why. But yeah, I'm gonna switch back out because I fear the earthquake. <laughs> but I'm gonna go into my jelly. And it's gonna imposter and it's gonna turn into his glide so I see all his moves just in case he ran knock off. But he didn't. So. Oh. All his moves wouldn't have hit me. Apart from, yeah, all his moves wouldn't have hit me. And then, since I'm uh, scarfed, I just go for a sub. And now I can't do anything. Yep, so it's pretty much a beanbag war. Until he decides to switch out. <laughs> I'd go for a sub anyway, just in case he wanted to play that game. So he went to his Venusaur. And yeah, since I'm locked into it, I, I had to go for it. So now, now I'm going to switch out. Because that's not how I like to play the game. That's not how it's gonna be. I go to my big mama. He giga drains that does nothing. Oh my god, the And it was a crit. What? So I'm gonna hurricane this guy. Get out of here. He's gonna easily two hit KO this guy. Mega Venusaur is bulky, but when it comes to flying moves, <laughs> nothing. Oh yeah, and the confused hacks that kinda sucks for him. Oh well. So I'm just going to finish him off with Fiery Dance. So that's Venus right out the way as well. Now he's going to go into his Glide Score. Now I'm going to Fiery Dance this guy. Because the Glide Score is strong um, defensively but not specially defensive. So. And I also get the Special Attack Raise. He Toxics me. I don't know if I... I would have been able to survive an earthquake, I'm pretty sure of it. But yeah, he decides to toxic me. Now he's gonna toxic stall me with a protect after this. Yep. I mean, it's a pretty standard, like, glass corset. Just protect, get the toxic orb off, toxic them, then protect again, earthquake, substitute, you know, that kind of thing. But I like to run knockoff as well, just, uh, just to have that extra attacking move. So now I'm just gonna fiery dance him, and glass score is just gonna go down. And I, I'm on a, I'm a plus two now. I'm like, all right, I've swept this whole team. I win. I swept this whole team. But then comes in the ditto. This ditto is gonna ruin my life. I mean, look at that smile. That's the smile of death. But now he turns, he, he transformed into a plus two Volcarona. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That was not good. So now I'm gonna have to go into my cleft key. And I set up a light screen. I I thought I was gonna survive one, but obviously it's a plus two Volcarona. It's a plus two Volcarona. Obviously I was gonna survive. Oh my god, what was I thinking? I could have went for a thunder wave and No, I went for a light screen. Yep. So I get to my dig dog, he's pretty much gonna die. Man, this was not good. That Volcarona just took down three of my Pokemon. Now it's a plus three Volcarona. Great. Great. By this time I thought it was GG. I mean, I have Ditto and um, Rotom left. He fire dances me, I was like, alright, good, good game, well played. But, oh my god, I survived with 12 HP, what the heck is going on? So I hydro pump him, if I miss that, I would have literally thrown my DS out the window, but I hit it, and this ditto dies. Whew. I didn't know Rotom could survive, what, you know, a plus three fiery dance, but I guess it can. It's no bulky as well, so yeah, but the life was going to take me down. 
It's a one-on-one -on -one now. He's got Garchomp. I've got Ditto. Imposter Ditto. Choice Garth. Oh my god, this was a good play. Just, it just couldn't have went anywhere. Finish him off with his own move outrage. See ya. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Oh, Ruff's getting gonna phase me. Ain't nothing gonna phase Jelly. But yeah. That was a pretty good battle. GG, Chris. And that was an awesome battle.